you guys a little test uh, the Illuminar double axi omni antennas versus the True RC Xair Mark II. Uh, running both of those, uh, got a 90 degree adapter there. We're going to see if we get better penetration. There's this is a request from the channel there. So I uh, hope this test is uh, informative for you guys and we'll see if that makes a difference there. Um, previously, I've used these antennas. Uh, and had one facing behind me uh, so I could fly behind my house with minimal breakup. But today we're gonna see um, what kind of penetration we can get with uh, four patch antennas versus the two built in and uh, a couple of Omnis. I'm Jeff with Titan FPV and you're gonna acquire some knowledge today. All right, in the upper left, we've got the uh, Lumineer double axes and the bottom right, we have the uh, True RC XR Mark IIs, um, and then we're running both of those with um, the built in patch antennas. There is a mod that you can use uh, to put whatever patch antennas or whatever antennas you want. Um, I'll post a link in the video description there for you. Just kind of flying around some tree cover here. This is a low spot. Uh, generally, I get pretty poor reception here. Um, on analog, I've got breakup definitely. Um, Probably wouldn't be able to fly here at 200 milliwatts. This is 200 milliwatts. Um, as you can see in the goggles there, I don't know if this represents it 100%, uh, but the uh, four patches there did do slightly better than the dual Omnis there. Now, this is the uh, Luminar double axes uh, for the Omni, so they're a lot stronger than most, uh, ax or most Omni antennas. We're also cutting in some tree cover here. It's a little field here. Um, behind my house and uh, it's some pretty thick uh, forest back there so I figured I'd try it back here and this is uh, like I said on 200 milliwatts on analog I probably wouldn't fly back here even with fusion so uh, as you can see I ventured out a little bit further there with the four patches there uh, directly in front of me um, than I could with the uh, double axes there but the double axes are uh, still a great combination there all right thanks for tuning in guys hope this video was informative if you're not already subscribed please do so and we'll catch you in the next one